Welcome to Tiny Tours. I'm Terry Cagley, a docent at the Meadows Museum, and today I'd like to present a masterwork by Diego Velazquez. It is titled Female Figure and was painted in 1648. Diego Rodriguez de Silva y Velazquez is a giant in the world of art. His powerful influence felt to the present day. Indeed, both Picasso and Dali acknowledged his importance and Manet labeled him the painter of painters. Born in Seville, Spain, this extraordinary artist is one of the great masters of all time. Leaving his hometown in 1623 at the age of 24, Velázquez traveled to Madrid, where he was famously selected by the young king, Philip IV, to be court painter, or pintor de cámara. They were contemporaries and remained close throughout their lives, each affecting the other. The work before us is a rare and unique work by the master. Painted at age 49, at the height of Velázquez's artistic ability, it is considered by many to be one of the most beautiful paintings in our collection. Now just take a moment to look at the painting. What is the first thing that captures your attention? What we have here is a single young female figure from the scene from the chest up. Her face is in profile and her right shoulder and arm are to the viewer. She holds a solid flat object with her left hand and the finger of her right hand is nearing the object, seemingly about to touch it. Velazquez has incorporated much movement in this painting. The diaphanous fabric ruffling in a breeze, the girl's disheveled hair, her parted lips as if about to speak, and the critical finger about to mark on the solid object. What is this object? Who is this young woman and what is she doing? Is she speaking? What is she about to say? One of Velazquez's most elusive paintings, it most likely was painted during his first trip to Italy, made at the behest of the king. This information is significant because the painting shows obvious Italian influences, most notably the subject matter. There are actually two titles for this painting, female figure and Sybil with tabula rasa, or Sybil with blank slate. So during this visit to Italy, Velazquez surely would have visited Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. On that ceiling are paintings of female Sibyls, often called prophetesses, juxtaposed with the major Old Testament male prophets. Back in the mists of time, Sibyls were consulted regarding future events. Bringing them forward to the Christian era, Sibyls were believed to have foretold the coming of Christ. Often writing their prophecies on a blank slate, the figures came to be regarded as even more compelling evidence of the legitimacy and inevitability of the birth of Jesus and his ministry. Velazquez has chosen the very moment of her prophesying, both verbally and in writing, on her tablet, her tabula rasa. The artist's delicate and painterly treatment of her garment with visible brush strokes the mystifying glow of the skin of her forearm, her lovely disheveled hair and half-shadow profile, and the single brushstroke shadow to reinforce the strength of that solitary pointer finger. All of this goes to make an exquisite painting that never ceases to engage and beguile. If you were to consult a Sybil, what would you ask her? Perhaps when you visit our Sybil, you can do just that. I invite you to come to the meadows and marvel at this Velazquez jewel. Thank you for listening. Plan to join us for more of the Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.